I'm back with my KitchenAid and today for the first time ever I'm going to make bread using an actual device so I'm actually as I said I'm using the dough hook that comes with my KitchenAid and I've never actually done that before I've only ever made it uh, by hand but with these nails it's not happening so I will, the recipe that I'm using here, I will actually have it uploaded and on my study page if you're interested. I'm actually using wholemeal. Um, I've managed, I've never quite managed to get the rise on the wholemeal. And I don't know whether it is by kneading, so I'd like to take that out of the equation. So today we're going to try the KitchenAid. So, in goes my salt. My yeast, I'll put it in that way, and my sugar. I'm just going to mix that into the flour. Let's get that a nice little ball round. There we go. Okay, this is all very new to me as well. So I don't even know if I'm doing this right, but yeah, we shall see. And then I'm going to add the butter. Well, if it wants to come out, come out. There we go. Obviously, it's a, it is an advantage if you have got a machine to do the work for you. And I'm just wanting to prove a point that it is easy just to whip up your own bread. Uh, obviously, you've got the proving everything. But, again, this is all very exciting for me. So, right. I'm start gently adding the water. I think actually after I push the bits of flour down, just bear with me. There we go. There we go. Mix all that together. Alright, here comes the fun bit. We'll start adding water. Yeah, you got to be, don't want to be uh, too um, liberal with the uh, water. But again, it is whole meal, so. Go. I need a bit more water to be honest. It's starting to look dough shape. I don't want to go too much water. Very interesting. Oh, there's me oil. I'm actually going to bring you over so you can see what it's doing. Just going to add a bit more water in there. And I think that should do it. That's now starting to look quite cool. Yeah. And again, we don't want that to... Oh, look, that's looking really good. I think, it might look, I think I might have gone a bit over the top with the water though. Alright. I just say, all that work on your arm is gone. That is actually one of the reasons I do, don't make bread all the time because it is a 
a lot of work in the sense of actually prepping the sides and things like that and making sure. Right, I'm going to stop this. Let's see how we're doing. I think personally, I think that's a bit wet. So I'm just going to add a little bit of flour to it. I think I did go a little liberal with the water. So, learning curve. It was only because wholemeal does tend to have a lot more, well, you need a lot more water with the wholemeal than you do uh, normally. Right, let's try that. Oh, that looks a little bit better. Make sure you get that flour in. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So this is exceptionally a little bit boring in that sense because I am fascinated how it's doing there uh, compared to my hard working with my with my hands. Alright, let's have another look. Uh, that's a bit better. So, I'll leave that in. Right, there we are. There we go. I'll show you guys. Look at that. Look. My nails are still intact. Excellent. So, I'm actually going to transfer this to a. We're going to start. I'm not going to do rolls or anything like that. I'm all right with white bread, but I really do have an issue with wholemeal bread. Um, sometimes I think it's the flour. Well, I'm going to transfer this lovely ball of goodness into my oiled pot. Okay. There we go. Just... Uh, there we go. Lovely. And pop that in there. Mm. There we go. I'm going to cover that. Uh, I'm going to go put it in the iron cupboard. So, guys, that was good fun. Um, that works absolutely amazingly. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, so, that was the dough hook for KitchenAid. Uh, I better go and sort this dough out. Um, and I'll come back to you when I pop it in the oven and we'll see how well it really does go. Whether it's just me, the flour, or something else. But I definitely don't think it's the KitchenAid. Definitely. Yeah, really impressed. And I'll be back in a bit, can we? All right? See ya. I have to say, guys, I'm not sure. It's quite hard to see if it's really doubled. As my encounters with brown bread, it doesn't seem to like double the way the white bread does. Um, also, the recipe I'm following, um, I'm also you used to um, knocking it back with the same just pop it straight in the oven so here we go so our dough from earlier I'm going to pop that in the oven at 230 degrees and it's going to bake for about 20 to 20 25 to 30 minutes so I'll be back whether we have bread or not and I'm just about to remove it. To be honest, I don't think it's risen very well, but then this could be down to the recipe. So I'm just gonna have a look now. I'll get a towel. Tea towel. And I done. Right, I've actually popped this in for 25 minutes. too bad. We're going to look wise, it don't look too bad. There we go. So I'm just going to turn this out and give it the hollow test. Oh, what? Alright. Try the other way. God. Yeah, it's hot. Oh god, I can't even grip it. Well, that's not a good sign if it's stuck like that. <laughs> Bear with me. Mm. 
Well, there we go. Oh, dear. Well. And you think, I did actually grease this tin. This isn't a good sign, is it? Interested to see if it actually came out correctly. So, doesn't sound very hollow to me. Sounds very tight. Outside looks great. See, outside looks great. But, yeah, I don't think that's uh, cooked in the inside. I think it's got a bit tight. A little disappointed but never mind i'm going to try it again uh, i'm going to try it on maybe a lower temperature maybe 220 but yeah that's definitely not cooked on the inside which is such a shame but please don't let this stop you from trying and making your own i'm already having difficulties with um wholemeal bread as it is pop that under there and I can feel the weight, it's so heavy. Never mind, live and learn. As we say, keep trying, it may get better. So, uh, yeah, personally, I didn't like the whole didn't knock it out before you put it in the oven. That was a bit um, strange. So, maybe another, maybe try it that way next time. Anyway. Maybe you'll have better luck than me. Um, maybe you'll get it right. And let me know if you do. Uh, let me know if you do try this recipe. It doesn't seem such a bad recipe. Um, but, yeah, very heavy. And, uh, yeah, no hollow sound now. So, I'm going to get guess that one is a bit of an epic foul. So, I'm going to try again later. And now I'm going to go get changed. Have a nice evening, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye.